Sunny Star Scout brought the three tribes together and we saw the crystals activate. But what role was the lighthouse supposed to play? The center of the lighthouse had a specialized notch fit perfectly to the crystals. But when Sunny and the gang put all the crystals in place, nothing happened. This is because the tribes hadn't been brought together yet. The crystals weren't activated. Unfortunately, by the time they were, Sprout had destroyed the lighthouse. The crystals worked fine on their own, but we never got to see how they would have interacted with the lighthouse. Was there anything special about this place? Let's see if we can piece things together with what we have so far. So Sunny was in the lighthouse, ready to give up when the setting sun hit the earth pony crystal just right. At first, the resulting image was fairly weak, but then it reflected into the lens at the center of the lighthouse. The lens amplified the brightness and reach of the image. Now, this was light reflected from the sun, but if the crystals were emitting their own light, the lens might boost that too. It's hard to say how much of this would be optical and how much would be magical, but either way, when you consider that the crystals were meant to be placed right below the lens, it seems like they were meant to be the source of light here. The light extends up from the crystals and out from the lens, or something along those lines. That's all I had for a good while, but now we've seen the lighthouse's replacement in action. Introduced for the first time, the crystal Bright House. Most of the times we see it, the Bright House has a slowly flashing rainbow shooting up through the center of it and beaming into the sky. I think it's pretty safe to say the crystals are what's causing this. We didn't see the crystals resting state, only the first couple seconds after they combined, but they were really bright and the sky was filled with rainbow auroras, so imagine if all of that light and color was filtered through the lighthouse lens. That might be what we're seeing here. But hold up, that's not how lighthouses work. They're supposed to cast light outwards towards the sea, helping any ships that need guidance, not up into the sky. This is definitely a different kind of beacon from what we're used to. It may still provide some guidance to ships in Maritime Bay, but I get the feeling that's not its main goal. What if the Crystal Bright House is meant to provide another kind of guidance for all Equestria? If you follow the rainbow to its end, you'll find a shining example of the tribes living in harmony. This lighthouse doesn't just provide physical guidance, but symbolic guidance as well. Plus, if you're a Pegasus living up in the clouds, you won't see the ground-based beams of a traditional lighthouse, but a straight-up beam splitting the sky in two? Every pony will see that. So this new landmark of Equestria actually makes a lot of sense. But what about the old lighthouse? Is that how it used to work too? I think so. The roof was transparent, allowing for light to shoot up out of it. Most lighthouses have opaque roofs. If the lens were to spin at the axis shown here and the source of light was directly below, the result might be similar to what we see in the Crystal Bright House. That axis of rotation certainly won't result in a traditional lighthouse. Though there is something that casts some doubt on this. The abandoned Zephyr Heights station. If you were promoting Maritime Bay as a tourist attraction and there was a fantastical rainbow coming out of it, you'd probably show that off in your promotional posters like this one here. Yet that's not what we see. Maybe the poster was from a time before or after the crystals were used in that way? We can't know for sure yet, but honestly, if the Crystal Bright House is meant to be a replacement, I imagine it'd be designed with the same function as the original. My hunch says this is a glimpse at what used to be. Regardless, I think for now on, Maritime Bay will be the heart of Equestria, the magical center of it. And this isn't just the next phase of history. I think the Crystal Bright House is what Equestria has been building up to for millennia. Think about it, you have a powerful crystal artifact fueled by love and channeled through a crystal building, pouring out to the rest of the world. If that sounds familiar, it's because that's exactly how the Crystal Empire worked as well. A powerful crystal artifact fueled by love and channeled through a crystal building pouring out to the rest of the world. Both even give off auroras when activated. But this isn't just a rehash of the crystal heart, oh no, the rest of equestrian history is represented here too. From the pillars to 
to the alicorns to the main six. It's the theme of elements being brought together to form a greater whole. The theme of harmony. That's something that wasn't emphasized in the Crystal Empire, but we can clearly see its influence here. The Crystal Heart never gave off a rainbow, but you know what did? The elements of harmony. This new setup is the best of both worlds, the culmination of all equestrian history, and I can't wait to see more of it in action. Though one thing's for sure, whoever designed the tribe's crystals must have done their homework. But what do you think? What role did the lighthouse play? Is the crystal bright house the same? Leave your thoughts in the comments. If you liked the video, like the video. And if you want to see more, subscribe and ring the bell. If you want to support this channel financially, check out my perks at patreon.com slash sawtoothwaves. And thank you so much to everyone who already has, especially my Alicorn tier patrons. The Nameless One, Equinox3140, one, Darth Silar 12, Maximilian HG, Cyanax, Solar Scripture, Musin, Princess Starglow, Colorshine, Jane Shadow, Gunner Clovis, Captain Good, Skarmex, Pika Girl, and this video's Alicorn of the Week, Angel of Speed. Congrats, and thanks again for everyone's support. Y'all help make this channel possible. I'm Sawtooth Waves, signing out until next time. Brohoof.